everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the jigsaw block. Now in the past I have done a video and it went very well, so I'm very happy, um, except I just want to, you know, redo it in an updated format and also show you how to use each individual thing properly this time, so how to use the target pool, name, target name, and also the turns too. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Also before we start, I just want to show you this does not work on bedrock. Um, you can actually get the block by doing the slash gift command, however when I place it down, you'll notice everything's there, it works, except there's no generate button, and that's what a lot of comments on my last video got. So for now, the jigsaw block actually doesn't work on bedrock, um, but it does definitely work on Java. So if we get back into it, how do you get it? Well what you have to do is you want to type in slash give at s, which is yourself, and then you want to give yourself a jigsaw block, so we type in jigsaw. Now the reason why I do the give command is because if you search jigsaw, it actually doesn't pop up. And that's because this block is just a very special block, you shouldn't be able to get it in survival or creative. Now to use the block, you also need to have cheats enabled. If you don't have cheats enabled, you shouldn't be able to actually get the block in the first place. Um, but yeah, so you need cheats enabled to use the jigsaw block. Now let's come over here and actually start using it. So I'm going to place the block just here for now. Uh, it should generate just fine. Um, but you also need to make sure that the block or the jigsaw block is pointing in a direction. Now if it points up, I've for most of my tests it actually hasn't worked. Uh, but when it's pointing in a direction it means that it will generate it in that path. So we will be generating it... Actually let's do it this way. Yeah. So we're going to generate it this way and we're also going to generate it that way. Potentially that way and potentially that way. It's just the arrow is more likely to send it that way over there. So as you can see, once we've got this, we need to open up the area. Now in the past video I showed you how to do this, but I showed you generally how to do it. So basically target pool is the area with all the information of the builds. Now what that means is in Minecraft there's a whole set of folders with a whole bunch of templates on how to build stuff. And the target pool basically goes into that folder and finds a pool of data. So basically just an area full of a whole bunch of the builds. Now, leading on from that, the target name, which I'll talk about next, is actually what specifically you want to pull out of the pool. So imagine you have a pool full of fish. Uh, one of the fish is a specific fish you want, you want to pull out of the pool. Yeah, that's basically it, so the target name. Uh, the name, that's not really important, you can name it whatever you want, that's just the name for the jigsaw block. And it turns to, it's kind of, well if you think about it, the jigsaw block is in a beta state at the moment. Um, so for now, Minecraft Air, that won't actually do anything, if you change it to anything, the block will not turn into anything at the end. So it turns to basically, well what it should do is it should turn the jigsaw block into that block specified. So uh, for now, let's just get straight into actually creating something. Uh, what I like to do is if I'm generating a village, I like to start off with the streets first because it actually gives you a whole bunch of ways to generate other structures off it. The reason why I also like it is because when you generate a street, you don't actually have to remember a lot of the information about the builds for the houses. You can just go up to where a house will spawn, uh, click on it, and then also you just copy and paste everything and yeah, you can build a house anywhere you want. Now let's get started with the streets. What you want to do is you want to type in Minecraft village slash and then you can select a certain pool for the villages. So you've got a whole bunch. You've got plains, taiga, uh, you've got the desert, you've got spruce forests, you've got all those sorts of things. Now for now I'm just going to do let's say plains. Now after you do this you want to type slash and you want to type streets. Now so basically what we have just typed in, just to make it more clear, is we've asked Minecraft to search for a village and inside the villages folder, or planes, so the specific village, and then we also want to look in the planes folder for specific streets, which Mojang have set up and all those sorts of things. Now for name, I'm going to show you that you don't really need to do, do anything, so I'm just going to say test. So test, this is not needed, so that just doesn't mean anything. Now target name, this is what we want to pull specifically from street. So for now, I'm just going to do street, because it's kind of general. And turns two, we can just leave that air, it doesn't really matter. 
Now these things down the bottom actually do a lot. So before I mentioned that there's no generate button in the bedrock version and the generate button is actually the most important part because without that you can't generate any of the roads or anything. Now if we go to here, the levels, this is basically just levels of customization. So or in intensity. So level one, it's kind of just like a small road. Level two, you're getting bigger. And then all the way up to seven, that's just a gigantic area. So for now, let's just do three because I think seven might be a bit too big for now. Um, and let's hit generate. Make sure you spell village, plains, and streets all in this order because for some reason before I didn't have it in correctly. Now you'll notice when you actually submit it or generate, the name of it automatically changes to street. And you can also see that this thing pops up and I don't know why, but yeah, you can see that it's done its thing. Now you'll notice that it has actually generated its street in this area and yeah, it's a bit buggy at the moment, but you can see that it's, you know, generated what it's supposed to do. Now at this stage, you can actually choose the buildings you want to place in this area. So it's kind of like one of those city building games where you get to build whatever you want. So as you can see, when I come up to these blocks here, with these little arrows and these little spots here, these are actually houses and decorations. So if I go to, let's say, a clear area over here, you can see that when I click on this, it has its houses thing. So basically, if you wanted to build a house, you type in village slash plains slash houses, type in building entrance, and then do all of this. So let's do a level three, hit generate, and you'll notice it's generated a village house, which is just, yeah, this is really cool. Now if we go in, sometimes leaves will stay in it because it's a structure void if you build it in a tree, but most of the time it works fine. And over here, we've got some decorations here, and you can just build a whole bunch more houses. So you can see we've got the streets here, showing that the street's still going along. Uh, we can go over here, we can actually build another house. So you can see uh, it's the same type of house uh, description. Let's change it to a level seven and hit generate. Um, now you'll see that different buildings do different things. So it's considered a house, but some of them might not be houses. So as you can see this bit here, definitely wasn't a house. It's really cool. And you've got little other decorations. You've got these things, which might work. Yeah, that one worked. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, building your little area. Wow, the rain's a great way to end the video. I love the rain. But uh, yeah, that's it. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I like to make a whole bunch of content about tutorials and command tutorials. Uh, they're very fun to do. Um, and yeah, I really like that stuff. You can support me in the description as well if you like. Also, don't forget to comment what you want me to do next. Um, I'm so sorry, there's a few comments at the moment, they're just not getting through. I'm pretty sure if you re respond to someone, they don't come through, so make sure to just respond. And um, yeah, I also stream live on Twitch at the moment, so if you want to follow me there, I do have a little uh, link in the description below.